This 15th century French book of hours is one of my favourite things. It's a private devotional text combining set prayers, a calendar of holy days and psalms. If I turn over, you can see right inside the first cover, we've got the calendar. So it starts with um, highlighted gold letters, so KL denotes calendars. So this would have featured um, all the months of the years broken into days with saint um, days and feasts for the owner to check. And you can see what I really love at the bottom, there's a fantastical figure here um, riding a dragon. So these fantastic embellishments. It's written in Latin with some prayers in Middle French, and it's essentially a prayer book for lay people, having evolved from clerical text, dividing each day into set prayer times, hence the name. And it's one of the most common surviving manuscripts for the day. So it reflects the wealthy individuals who commissioned them, as well as the period and um, the practices of the day. So protected by wooden boards, as you can see, covered in leather, this is a later edition, and the clasp would have held shut the book and protected the vellum, which is the animal skin on which the text is written. The real jewel for me, however, is contemplating the sumptuous interiors. You'll see that there's ornate lettering. There's also these fantastical line spaces in lieu of full stops um, to fill out the spacing. And there's 17 miniatures that are really exquisite. Um, they're, so they're made in multi colors. And what I really love about this one the adoration of the Magi where the three kings come bearing gifts of frankincense and myrrh for the baby Jesus. It's not so much this traditional image, it's actually the border that's filled with butterflies and um, strawberries, so they're all so beautifully detailed. And I really love um, this dragonfly because the calligrapher is playing with us and broken the convention of the border around the image. So I love this playfulness. Um, so this particular image and flight into Egypt were featured in Australia Post's Christmas 2019 stamp issue. So just consider that difference. The stamps are mass produced and mass distributed and this beautiful work of art is handmade and all these colours and the inks would have been ground and mixed um, using chemicals, herbs and stones for instance. So imagine the expertise concentration and good eyesight required to create this beautiful work. So according to Dr. Peter Ralph Monks, a woman of substance, we think from a merchant family, commissioned this copy in 1460. Then in 1505, it literally falls into the hands, well not literally, but it um, comes into the hands of a sister. So we know this because Sister Anne LaRoute added her initials here at the bottom. And we can also see that there are later owners. So these are a Stuart family, a Scottish family called the Stuarts. And they've added um, their detail here. And this, um, Templesford Hall Library. And I love this bit underneath. Please return this book in its place when done with. So each owner has brought something of their own personality to owning this particular work. And um, we were lucky to come across it. It was dispersed in an estate sale and with Friends of the Library, it was acquired in 1972. And we've digitized it in full. So you can take a closer look at this beautiful book of ours via our online link.